Blood disorders. Before we study about blood disorders, we must know the composition of blood in a healthy individual. Blood is a body fluid in humans and other animals that delivers necessary substances such as nutrients and oxygen to the cells. In vertebrates, it is composed of blood cells suspended in blood plasma. The blood cells are mainly red blood cells, also called RBCs or erythrocytes, white blood cells, also called WBCs or leukocytes, and platelets. Plasma, which constitutes 55% of blood fluid, is mostly water, 92% by volume, and contains dissipated proteins, glucose, mineral ions, hormones, and carbon dioxide. All the blood cells families work together and maintain your body so that you are healthy and strong. Red blood cells transport oxygen to your body's organs and tissues. White blood cells help your body fight infections. Platelets are tiny molecules that stick up together and build a clot on bleeding wounds. All three cell types form in the bone marrow, which is the soft tissue inside your bones. Your body needs millions of blood cells produced by bone marrow to carry out vital functions. But sometimes, bone marrow cannot work properly due to certain factors and results in blood cell disorders. A blood cell disorder is a condition in which there's a problem with your red blood cells, white blood cells, or the smaller circulating cells called platelets. Blood cell disorders impair the formation and function of one or more of these types of blood cells. Thalassemia is a group of inherited blood disorders. These disorders are caused by genetic mutations that prevent the normal production of hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is the carrier molecule which carries the oxygen obtained during the process of respiration. When red blood cells do not have enough hemoglobin, oxygen doesn't get to all parts of the body. Organs then do not function properly. These disorders can result in bone deformities, enlarged spleen, heart problems, growth and developmental delays in children. People who suffer from thalassemia need to undergo regular blood transfusions to maintain healthy RBCs and hemoglobin levels in the body. Leukemia Leukemia is blood cancer in which malignant white blood cells multiply inside your body's bone marrow. Usually, leukemia involves the production of abnormal white blood cells, the cells responsible for fighting infection. However, the abnormal cells in leukemia do not function in the same way as normal white blood cells. The leukemia cells continue to grow and divide, eventually crowding out the normal blood cells. The end result is that it becomes difficult for the body to fight infections, control bleeding, and transport oxygen. What causes leukemia? Is leukemia hereditary? The exact cause of leukemia is not known, but it is thought to involve a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Leukemia cells have acquired mutations in their DNA that cause them to grow abnormally and lose functions of typical white blood cells. It is not clear what causes these mutations to occur. One type of change in the cell's DNA that is common in leukemia is known as chromosome translocation. In this process, a portion of one chromosome breaks off and attaches to a different chromosome. Most cases of leukemia are not believed to be hereditary, but certain genetic mutations and conditions can be passed along to offspring that increase the chances of developing leukemia. Treatments Treatment for your leukemia depends on many factors. Your doctor determines your leukemia treatment based on your age and overall health the type of leukemia you have, and whether it has spread to other parts of your body, including the central nervous system. Common treatments used to fight leukemia include stem cell transplant, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy.